From California State University, San Bernardino, it's Local Matters. Art walks, private security, and hang gliding. Hello, I'm Herbert Gonzalez, and welcome to Local Matters, featuring stories from across the Inland Empire. And I'm Sierra Murdoch. There are many events in Southern California which feature Latino artwork. Art walks are a great chance for the local community to enjoy. Reporter Lloydy Burma attended an event to experience the rich culture. The Red Bull Edition 2 event pays homage to the Los Angeles area and the Latino arts community by encouraging them to display their works of art. The Red Bull Edition 2 event, titled La Tegrafica, celebrates 10 artists who've painted 10 murals currently placed throughout the Los Angeles area, as well as hosting other LA artists interested in sharing their creative artworks with the community. We wanted to create something to continue to work with not only the artists that we have worked with on previous projects, specifically here in Los Angeles, but also work with uh, new artists that we have not worked with and start to develop that relationship and showcase their uh, work first and foremost. The people's struggle inspires me to choose the medium and blow it up for the masses to see and face reality. It's the unification that we all have is a struggle, a struggling society. It's really cool to see um, the culture within the art, um, just the different music and the different types of people here that are coming out to enjoy the art pieces. Um, I think that's really the fun part about it. Red Bull has been extremely active in the art community. Um, specifically in the last three and a half years and um, we'd like to continue to, to build these programs and to first and foremost you know always always shed shed light on the art and the artists. By combining food, music and especially artwork the Red Bull Edition 2 event allows for artists in the Los Angeles community to display their representations to everyone involved. For Local Matters I'm Lloydie Burma. Multiple companies within the private security industry that engage in guard and patrol services now offer many career opportunities for retired police officers. Police officers dedicate their lives to serving and protecting the public community, but once their career is over, they can lend their experience to protecting companies in the private sector. It seems to be a natural progression from you know public service and uh, as a law enforcement or police officer into a private sector security force. Bring those experiences with crime prevention, security issues and things like that in my experiences over 31 years and apply it into the private industry. After witnessing some of the worst society has to offer, these brave men and women still devote their lives to protecting the people. Hang gliding is a thrill for many adrenaline seekers, which is a popular activity for people in the Inland Empire. Reporter Wendy Padrone checks out the available flights. Hang gliding is an air sport that originated in the late 1800s, but has developed over time with the help of scientific and technical achievements. Hang gliding involves a pilot who flies a light and non-motorized foot launch aircraft called a hang glider. The sport does require specific equipment and training. It's fairly involved, it takes about a week of training, typically doing several tandem flights, several days to the training hill, uh, working your way up higher and higher on the training hill and eventually solo flight from the mountain. Although it can be a tough aircraft, professional trainers at Andy Jackson Air Park do enjoy the experience of teaching their clients about the air sport. The most interesting thing about teaching is to see the happiness in the face of the students when they do their very, very first flight. Robert Duke, who tried hang gliding for the first time, talks about his experience soaring over the Southern California mountains. A man's biggest dream is flight, and that's what I'm here to experience. Personal flight without a motor. I guess it's probably the most closest thing that you can get to pure, real flight. Owner of the air park, Robert McKenzie, tells us that a person of any age can enjoy hang gliding and the scenery that comes along with it. If soaring over the mountains of Southern California is something you want to cross off your bucket list, then hang gliding is a sport for you. For Local Matters, I'm Wendy Padrone. To keep updated on what Local Matters is doing, check out our Facebook and YouTube page. I'm Sierra Murdoch. And I'm Herbert Gonzalez. Join us next time for more local stories that matter.